I would drift through them. Look at them all, man. Look at that right here at the boat. No shortage of fish. <laughs> That's right up there with as many as I've ever seen in Key West Harbor or Boca Grand Channel or anywhere. Oh my gosh, look at that, rolling right on our balloons. I thought we were gonna snag one, I really did. I didn't see how we could float our rig through that many fish and, and not just floss one or, or just get it to, to where it even bumps the balloon, you know, where one might swim into the line. I mean, there were so many fish so many there, fish. but it wasn't happening. You know, the first thing I'm gonna do when the fishing gets tough is, okay, let's have less tackle in the water. So instead of three split shots, I go to one split shot, 60 pound leader to a 40 pound leader, six aught hook to a four aught hook, and I go from a, a crab like this to a crab like this. You know, I don't know if that's what it is, but eventually that balloon is going to down through there. And what you're looking for is just like nymph fishing in a river. The, the current's going at a certain speed and that, that balloon will just, just take, a little, take a little detour. It's supposed to float just down through there like that. And I'm watching it, it goes into one of those shadows and it just kind of jerks over to one side. Man, I just reeled down and sure enough, that was him. I knew it was gonna be him. That's him. Finally, I went down on that leader, I went down on that hook. We got this line out. I'm not gonna pull on him until we get past this bridge. That was awesome, man. You hooked that fish, and then it's off to the races. We gotta, you know, act quickly, or that fish is gonna get around the bridge and break us off. So we've gotta let the anchor go, drop their anchor with a float buoy, turn around, start chasing that guy. And luckily, he makes it. He makes a kind of an easy move for us to get through the bridge, and we're in the clear. You're fighting them. We're out there in the clear. It's looking good. You, you got him. You know, because yep. the hard part is getting away from the bridge. Once you get away from the bridge, you're feeling like you're in the clear. Nice job, dude. I went down on the leader. Down on the hook, finally saw that balloon move. Oh, look at him shake that head. Be right here. Right on the surface, not, not very deep. Finally, man, we had to work hard for that one. Thought he had me in the bridge, and then I finally did see him. He wants to go up there by those guys. Sometimes the hard thing is getting them away from the bridge. This time, the hard thing was uh, <laughs> was beating beating the tax man. A lot of people refer to the sharks as the tax man because he's coming. There's not a lot you can do about it, and he's coming. He's and gonna eventually, take his cut. he's going to he's going to take his cut. There he goes. That's it. Tire yourself oh, out. Oh, look at him jumping! Nice. Oh, oh hammer, hammer right after him. Dang, look at that giant hammer. Oh. oh my gosh. Get the rod ready. Relax. Oh, dude, he just ripped my boat off. Oh, 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 oh. awesome! Look at that big boy. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor.